Hello everyone, this is One Super Gamer, and welcome back to Persona 5 Royal. Last time, we took down Kamoshida and finally got rid of the palace, but we do not know if a change of heart have occurred. This time, we will await the change of heart, but there are a few things that we can do while there, after change of heart. Now, first things first, if you're in the metaverse at any time, you cannot go out okay. during the day. Well, I can't go out anyway because Sojiro will stop me. So, what I'll do instead is raise the social stats. So, I'm gonna study. Now, listen up. What do you want to do? Make sure you close up. Wow. Don't worry, I will not just be doing social stats this episode. <laughs> well then. There was this overseas drama on TV last night. I only started watching in part right through, but now I'm totally hooked. I want to start from the beginning now. I wonder if there's anywhere I can borrow season one. How about the video rental shop at Central Street? You, if you become a yearly member, you can borrow as many DVDs as you want. Oh, they're a pretty big chain, so they probably have it. Thanks, I'll stop by later. That's incredible. The video rental shop on Central Street? Oh, they must mean that giant building right in front of the bookstore. Being able to borrow as much as you want sounds tempting. Let's check it out when we have the time. Have you seen Kamoshida? You really think he changed? I hope so. Well, yeah. Oh, perfect timing. The study hall will be held instead of PE today. I'm letting you know just in case you haven't heard. Mr. Kamoshida has taken the day off. He ain't here? Don't tell anyone that you heard this from me. But we received word that Mr. Kamoshida is placing himself under suspension. It's such an important time before the tournament, too. Principal Kobayakawa went to talk to him about it, but he supposedly wasn't making any sense. Wait, a suspension? Not so loud! The talks about your expulsions may be put on hold, too. I don't know too much about it, though. Anyway, I've relayed what's going on to you. Looks like something happened. At least it sounds different from a mental shutdown. I guess all we can do is wait. We did all we can. Now we wait. No surprise, waiting's pretty boring. I wonder what Ryuji and the rest are up to. Man, all this waiting's got me so antsy. We should go on a trip or something. What do you think? Sorry, I'm gonna have to pass. What, you busy? Yeah, I'll be being, visiting Shiho in the hospital after school for the next few days. I can't do much to help her, but it'll be nice to at least see her face. Gotcha. I hope she wakes up soon. Be safe on your way there. Yeah, thanks. I'm totally down to go somewhere once things calm down, though. <laughs> Sounds like we won't be able to see Lady On after school for a while. How unfortunate. You should work on your kindness. That way you can say something encouraging next time you see her. Hey. Hey, about the doctor at the clinic. She's been helping us quite a bit. Make sure to swing by once in a while to keep a good relationship. I want to know why she was arguing with that guy, too. We have options. As always. Fuck! Press the wrong button twice. So. Wait, hold on. Oh. That was weird. Okay. So. Let's do what Morgana says. And go see the doctor. As you remember, a few episodes earlier. Her clinic's down here to the left. But. Once you go here once. You can quit travel there. I should ask about the enhancing drug I heard her mention the other day. Well. What are you here for today? Got any special medicine? Huh? Huh? Now I remember. You're the kid who was at LeBlanc. 
Regular medicine won't do the trick. I have my reasons. Very well. Just head into the examination room for now. Oh. That medicine, huh? What are you trying so, to So, which conversation of mine did you eavesdrop to hear on to hear that? It was obvious actually. You call that hiding? Not that I care, of course. I was gonna dispose of that medicine anyway. I got a little too carried away with it. But tell me, why would a high schooler like yourself be so interested in that medicine? It's very strange indeed. You don't seem to be very athletic, so... What exactly are you up to? It's for my exams. Huh? Exams? Oh, your entrance exams for college! So you're looking on to improve your concentration and reduce fatigue. Hmm, that's not the best idea. But if that's what you want to do. Take care. Then good luck with that. I have no obligation to help you like with that. Why don't you have an energy drink or something? I I'll tell people. You're really annoying, you know that. The medicine's really expensive. And it's not something a high schooler can get his hands on. It costs almost as much as a car. Got it? So how about you just go home? I'm not leaving. <sighs> Do you consider yourself someone with a good amount of stamina? I admit I have been looking for a young person around your age to help me out. But I haven't been able to find one, even after putting an ad in the paper. Are you up for it? What would I be doing? Do you want to do it or not? Okay then, you'll be participating in cl clinical trials for my medicine. Hang on, I'll be right back. <laughs> Here you go. Worried about the side effects, huh? Well, you can relax. Rest assured, my autopsy is guaranteed to find ex out exactly what part of it killed you. Did you change your mind? What? Aren't you gonna take it? The exit's right there if you wanna leave. If I don't drink this, Takemi probably won't sell me her medicine. Well, go on. Bottoms up! What? Huh? I can't believe you actually drank it! Bitter, yet sour. It's beyond description. However, it's nothing I can't handle. Wow, still doing okay, huh? Hmm, not bad for a high schooler. Uh... Well, game over, I guess. Good evening. Do you remember anything from the moment you took the medicine until now? Hmm. By the look in your eyes, I'd say you don't. You briefly woke from your coma, but you were completely dazed during the entire examination. You eventually lost consciousness and fell back asleep. Are you out of your mind? Only an idiot would have drank that. It's for my exams. Fine. By the way, the reason you lost consciousness was because of the taste. It produces a foul smell when it mixes with gastric juices. Similar to Sir Stroming. Oh well. All that matters is that thanks to you, I was able to get some good data. Okay? It's my turn to make good on my part of the deal. That's why I waited until you woke up. I don't want the general public to know about my original medicines. So, you're strictly prohibited from disclosing what happens here to anyone. Understood? Of course. Then it's a deal. As long as you come here for it, I'll give you the medicine at a good price whenever you want. I may even add additional selections in time. I look forward to your continued patronage. I made a deal with Takemi.
Considering all the actions you've taken, you must have had someone with medical expertise. Who? And how did you treat your wounds? It'll be easy to find out who if we look into this, you know. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the death persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. We have obtained the death confidant, the back alley doctor. With it, right off the bat, we get rejuvenation, which increases the selection of healing items at the clinic. As for importance, this is a confidant that is, to me, of moderate importance. I at least want this to be level 5 at some point. So, if you want to stick with my strategies, then uh, I would recommend to at least bring this confidant to level 5. Alright. So, when can you come back for the next clinical trial? Ugh. You don't remember that part either? Well, I was saying that teenage test subjects are quite valuable in the medical research industry. So I'll provide you the medicine for your entrance exams, and in exchange, you'll be my guinea pig. I have to perfect this medicine. If you're able to move now, you can go home. All right, take care. I feel like cooperating in that shady clinical trials has increased my guts. Hanging out with confidants can increase some of your social stats, such as guts. As with Takemi here. Hey. Oh yeah, I'll contact you when I'm done prepping for the next clinical trial. And I'll put together some compensation by then for all of your efforts today, but you're not getting that in writing. Based on today's results, I think I can whip up some new medicine for the next time. Drop by when you're ready for it. Confidants are very different. You have to be careful on what you say. Depending on what you say is what will uh, determine how many points you will get to get closer to upgrading to the next level of confidant. Sometimes you won't get enough points to level up to the next confidant. So, future me, put them up! These are numbers. These will tell you how many notes you will get from a scale from zero to three to get closer to your confidant. Obviously, you want the answers that have as high notes as possible. So, please go easy on me. <laughs> we'll see. That's all up to you. You live pretty close, right? You might still feel some dizziness, so take it easy on your way back home. All right. I'm not really in the mood to write up an autopsy, so take care of yourself. Ah, you're back. I went to see Shiho today, and I told her we settled things with Kamashita. She still hasn't regained consciousness, but I had to go make amends. What do you mean? You didn't do anything wrong, On. Right, Ren? This is Kamashita's doing. But I wasn't there when she needed help. I'm a failure as a friend. I have to do all I can to make up for that, starting now. Otherwise, I don't think I'll be able to move on. Man, I didn't know you were so passionate. I totally didn't notice that back in middle school. I think it's because of you guys. I'm still a little embarrassed, though. Anyway, Ryuji, Ren, I hope we can keep helping each other out, out from here on, too. Hey, you got a minute? Something I want to ask you. Come here, let's have a tat. Alright, let's talk with Sojuro. Yo. Hey, you're free tonight, aren't you? Care to have a little chat with me? What? It's some it's just some small talk. This may be a good opportunity to deepen my bond with Sojuro. Let's talk. Yo. Good. There's a lot of things I want to ask you. I'll clean up, so just wait there. Hey, how's school? You're not causing any trouble, are you? I'm not. Good. I've got to report to your probation officer twice a month. It's already a pain in the ass as is, so please don't make me have to write even more crap. Got that? This society is kept in check by laws and authority figures. You can go and get yourself killed if you want, 
but don't go dragging other people into your mess. Last thing we need is more idiots like you roaming around. Hmm? What's wrong? Yeah, I'm heading out now. Sorry about that. I know. The usual, right? Okay. I'll see you later. As you can see, I'm pretty damn busy both at work and in my private life. If you could lend a hand, it'd really be a great help. I'd be glad to. Now we're talking. Either way, I won't ask you to work for free. If you agree to help me, then I'll teach you how to make the perfect cup of coffee. Not a bad trade, eh? Sounds interesting. All right. Looks like we got ourselves a deal. The distance between me and Sojuro seemed to be closing slightly. You may call yourself a phantom thief, but you're still a miner. Someone had to support you. Furthermore, they did so knowing you were a part of that group. Isn't the owner of that cafe an accomplice of yours? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Hierophant persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. We have received the Hierophant persona! This is a mildly important confidant for me. I'm at least going to get this thing to level 6. But I wouldn't be surprised if I went all the way because this confidant is actually really nice story wise. Alright. I'll be counting on your help. I owe you one. Okay, I'll let you handle out the rest. Gotta say, I'm glad you catch on quick with this stuff. Makes my life a whole lot easier. Just keep doing what you can, and don't cause any trouble, right? Got it. Oh, Glad to hear it. For today, though, just make sure you lock the place up. Don't go too crazy with the stuff in the shop. You're staying here rent-free, so you should know not to go overboard. I'm gonna head back then. All right, see you tomorrow. Hey, have you been to Gigolo Arcade on Central Street? Gigolo? Oh, you mean the arcade next to the convenience store. I thought it was against school regulations to go to the arcade. Besides, I heard some delinquent hangs around there. What, is there a game there that you want to play or something? No, no, I just heard they sell this overseas juice brand there. It's supposed to help with drowsiness. My grades have been slipping lately, but I'm scared of the delinquent. Why does it seem like products that come from overseas always work? Maybe it's the unique taste. And there's a delinquent, huh? Well, compared to Shadows, he shouldn't be any trouble. The school store is already always out of yakisoba pan no matter what time I go. I haven't been able to get any even once. Oh, don't you know? It's always sold out on Mondays, but there's usually some left over on Fridays. Are you serious? I'll finally be able to get some yakisoba pan today. Hey. Huh, I guess there's a lot in this world you can get for a limited time or during certain seasons. Now I want some too. You want to try to get some? I'll come with you. Mm. No surprise, Wayne's pretty boring. I wonder what Ryuji and the rest are up to. That's what you said yesterday, Morgana. Let's open up our map. And we can indeed hang out with Ryuji. We can also hang out with Takemi, but... Let's talk about that. We if we go over to Takemi right now, 
In spring, one sleeps a sleep that knows no dawn, huh? <sighs> Gosh, I need a nap. Or at least I need some good old-fashioned caffeine in my system. Come to think of it, I might collapse again if I take that medicine. I may need to be bold in order to take that medicine. I shouldn't suggest a clinical trial. Mm. Clinical trials, huh? That's practically putting your life in, there, in her hands. It'll take guts, that's for sure. There's gotta be a way you can build up your guts in your daily life. <laughs> Maybe you can prove your guts by studying the right things at the school library. I guess we'll just try whatever we can. So what are you here for today? Yes! Yeah. So some confidants have restrictions. Takemi is one of those confidants. We cannot rank up to rank two with her until we have level two guts. This is one of the main reasons why social stats are important. So, for now, we can't hang out with her. But Ryuji, on the other hand, is not very restrictive. So, let's talk to him instead. Ryuji, during school time, will always hang out outside of your classroom. Oh. We beat Kamashita and all, but I'm still feeling kind of nervous. Guess we gotta wait and see what happens. I realized when we were running through that palace that I can't really move like I used to. So how about we do some training? I can't just send my ass here. Spend your time with your confidants after school or at night will deepen your... Yes, I went over this. You're supposed to hang out with Ryuji first, but I decided to tackle the palace first. I feel, the, I feel like my bond with Ryuji will grow str stronger soon. What do you plan on doing? Want to hang out with Ryuji? Hang out with him. Let's do some quick warm-ups behind the gym, then. Get Go get changed. Well, I'm gonna walk around. Let me know if you're ready to leave. Hmm. Man, this place brings back memories. This is my secret training spot. Uh, was. Back when I was on the track team. Actually, I've been thinking about trying to run again. Damn it. Finding that other world was a total shock. I couldn't move like I was used to. It just felt lame. I started thinking, maybe I could need to build up my muscles again. Anything's got to be better than this flimsy body, right? Plus, maybe then I'll be able to help out a little more. I'm counting on you. <laughs> I'm totally going to wreck your expectations. <laughs> I mean that in a good way. Anyways, you act like it's only going to be me doing this. You're getting in on it too. Whoa! Don't look surprised! Why'd you think I had you go and change into that? It'd be pointless if I was the only one getting super fast, right? Alright, I'm gonna do some knee lift sprints. You're stuck with the normal ones. I ran around the school with Ryuji. Ugh. Ugh. Damn, my legs are all tight. Before Kamashita came along, the track team was the biggest thing the school had going for it. But it all changed after he got our coach fired and took over as the sub. Damn it. That bastard. Right at the very start he was trying to get rid of us. He'd give us crazy workouts, then when we couldn't do them, he'd add even more on top of that. Day after day was nothing but all but that bullshit. He was going after me especially. He knew. He knew I was the kind of guy who would fight back. <clears throat> if my time dropped even a little, he'd cuss me out. Then on top of that, he brought up my parents. What about them? Truth is, my mom's the only one I got. All my dad did when he was still around was drink. Sometimes he'd even beat me or my mom. I don't know how that bastard Kamashita found out, but he told the whole damn team. And as you can guess, I lost it and hit him. It was like he wanted me to do it, though. He called it an act of violence and shut the team down. Thanks to that, the other guys on the team treat me like some kind of traitor. And they ain't wrong. Because of me, they lo all lost their shot at the championship. Do you regret it? A little bit yes, a little bit no. Come on, don't ask me tough questions like that. I'm not very smart, you know. <laughs> Anyways, it doesn't matter now. That's all in the past. I'm only thinking about the future now. That's what we're gonna do. Build the future. 
We gotta think positive thoughts, brother. Feel like my bond with Ryuji is growing deeper. Rank two with Ryuji. We unlock Punk Talk. If negotiation fails with an upbeat shadow, you can try again. Great. It's not like I'm already great at talking with upbeat shadows. All right. But still, if you're not great like me, right. it'll help. Come on, we're all warmed up, right? How about another run? By the way, you're actually pretty good at running. Not as good as me, though. <sighs> Holy crap, my legs are shaking. Don't collapse on your way home, man. Later! Sup! You get home okay? Didn't trip or anything. But man, I'm so out of shape. Felt like I could barely dr drag my damn legs up the station steps. This would have never happened back then. Ugh, I should have kept up my running. It's never too late, man. Ha! Truth, man. We're only getting started. Let's keep on running towards tomorrow. I'm pretty rusty, but even it's got gotten kind of rough, I had fun. And with you here, I got some friendly competition too. Plus, we get to talk. So yeah, I'll catch you later. See ya! Ah, you're back. So, getting used to the city? A little. I see. You're the only one here at night, so I'm not gonna bother setting up a curfew or anything like that. So as long as you're taking school seriously, I don't mind if you stroll the streets in the evenings. You can now explore Yongin Jaya at night. You got that? But only around these parts, got it? You go back on your word, I'll kick you right out. Alright, so now we can explore Yongin Jaya if we want to. Let's explore Yongin Jaya while we can. I'm the one who has to lock the door. Just make sure you're not out there for too long, alright? We were told we could, that we couldn't go very far, so I guess that means we gotta enjoy the nightlife at Yongin. Hey, how about we take a peek inside the bathhouse? I probably can't go in there as a cat, though. I saw a sign for a movie theater somewhere as well, and there's some batting cages, too. Mmm, there's so many things to do. This is gonna be fun. So, if you go over here, you can go to the bathhouse. The bathhouse will increase your charm. Not a bad way to increase your charm early in the game. Let's talk about charm. Charm is actually one of the least helpful... Uh, social stats. Not saying that there's no confidants that are that are not important. There is one in particular that requires a lot of charm. So I will be working out my charm for that. But charm is not going to be a priority. We go over here. These are batting cages. You can play a baseball minigame for as long as you want. It will waste a day though, but it will increase your proficiency. If you want, it's not a bad way to increase your proficiency if you do not have enough materials for building materials. In here is the grocery store. Let's go in real quick. Oh, never mind. Only open during the day. Look, I don't, <laughs> okay. Movie theater, this movie theater is closed if memory serves. Mm. Movie theater, but they're closed. There's a sign posted up inside. Too exhausted to stay open. Exhausted, huh? Not much we can do about that. Hope they feel better soon. Then in here, hello sir, welcome. We can buy a few things. Uh, most of them are building materials for, uh, what am I trying to say? Infiltration tools, but what we want to buy is actually the DVD player. Remember that conversation we heard in the subway? Well, we can actually go to that shop and rent a DVD, which I will be doing very soon. But our TV does not have a DVD player. So if you're going to buy it, buy it now. So those are the new ways we can increase our social stats. The clinic is, of course, open during this time. And there's one last thing I want to talk about. It's... Down here, I probably should have just done this earlier, but in here, we can wash those clothes that we picked up in the palace. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, so 
Usually you can find really good equipment in locked chests and you can find decent enough equipment at EY's. So you won't see me doing this much for now, but I will be using this later in the game. Just not now because it's kind of an insignificant waste of time. It doesn't even give you any points. So I'm actually going to go back in to LeBlanc and hang out with Sodro. I just wanted to go through our options of what we can do at Young and Jaya. Hey. You don't work, you don't eat. Ever heard that phrase before? If you're up for it, why don't you learn how to work here? I feel like I can be closer with Sojuro thanks to the Hierophant Persona Barreth. Yes! If you have a persona with the same... If you have a persona type with the same confidant, you can actually get more closer to a confidant than if you just talk to them normally. I feel like my bond with Sojuro will grow stronger soon. What are you going to do? Will you have the teeth out? Help him out. Huh. So you do get it. All right, put your stuff down and come back here. It's about time one of the regulars arrives. She is a talkative one. Well. Now, now then, since you're going to be working in my store, I need to hammer home the basics. You know what I'm talking about, right? Making coffee? Yep, glad to see you at least understand that much. The store is not the busiest around, but I'm real particular of how we do things around here. And I'll kick you out if no questions asked if you serve a bad cup, you got that? Let me tell you, Sochan definitely does things right with this coffee. It goes so well with the special curry. I can't help but order the set meal every time. What can I say? Each of my regulars get an experience personally tailored to them. Can you tell me the key to that wonderful flavor, Shochan? I'd love to make it at home sometimes. Sorry, that's a trade secret. You're free to try and guess based on the taste, though. Cheapskate! Keeping secrets from me even though you know your food's already stolen my heart. How about a nice dessert, then? It's only 300 yen. When you run a shop, you get all sorts of customers. Knowing their personalities is absolutely vital. That's what being in food service is all about. Welcome! Whoa. You! Hello there. It's been quite a while, Sakura-san. I heard you opened up a shop, so here I am. It wouldn't have to hurt to mention it to me, though. Huh? You got a real nice location here, right by the station and everything. Your order? No small talk? That's cold. Oh, but the smell. Sure to bring back memories. You're still making that curry, huh? I guess you haven't gotten over her yet. Your order, sir. Haha, <laughs> so pushy. I just stopped in to say hi today, but I'll be back again soon. Bye. Jeez. Ugh, I don't know where he got caught wind of this place. That guy seems suspicious. Heh, <laughs> I guess you have an eye for some things after all. Anyway, if you got time for questions, you have time to be learning about different bean types. You're not going to be any use to me if you can't pick up the ABCs sometime soon. Besides, ladies love a guy who knows his coffee. This ain't such a bad deal for you. I want the ladies to love me. Ha! Huh. <laughs> if you're only this obedient all the time. Either way, I'm going to teach you right. That's why I'll be able to sit back and relax while you work. I feel like my bond with Sodro is growing deeper. Make it level two. We learn coffee basics. Allows you to brew coffee that slightly restores SP of one ally. All right. You can now brew coffee at the counter in LeBlanc. You'll be able to brew coffee during the day and after school when the cafe is open. Brew at night when the coffee gear is free. Oh, is it time already? Well, let's start closing up. And no slacking off, you got it? After learning about customer service from Sojuro, I feel like my kindness has approved. Hey, it's me. Guess this number works. I forgot to ask for your cell number, so I had to dig it out of your papers. A real hassle, let me tell you. Anyway, you done closing up yet? 
I'm going to have you handle that from now on, so you better learn now. Seems like you're a quick study, so I hope you got the hang of it. Got it. Don't forget it. Once you're a little more settled in, I'm going to have you be doing more chores. But man, I'm not sure how I feel about calling up a guy's phone. Anyhow, we'll get the routine grounded in you. That way, I'll be able to take it easy. Alright, don't stay up too late. I haven't done much of anything on my days off. It's such a pain to put on makeup, and I hate shopping, so I usually end up lazing about the house. Yeah. Same here. Good thing there's home shopping. They always have the best stuff on Sundays. Oh, I know exactly what show you're talking about. They even sell surgical masks for when you're sick. I have to check it out tomorrow. It's so popular that they always sell out if you don't call it the same day. Morning. What up? <sighs> I made it. I slept in, so I ran out without eating breakfast. I feel so weak because of it. After we took down Kamashita, I just feel so spent and out of gas, you know? You get me, right? I do. Yep. Right? Now all we have to do is wait for that board meeting. Anyway, I'm hungry. I guess I'll buy some bread at the school store. <laughs> Kamashita-kun was really in his element at the volleyball rally the other day. You kids are lucky to receive direct instruction from a world-famous athlete like him. Sports have been regarded as sacred things that invigorate people since ancient times. So much that an emperor himself even participated once. Mishima-kun, do you know the name of the Roman emperor who participated in the Olympics? Huh? Um... It's Nero. <sighs> it's good to throw yourself into cl your club activities, but you shouldn't sacrifice your studies. Sorry. That said, you don't seem too into sports, Amamiya Kun. Do you know the answer? Between music theater and chariot racing, which sport did Nero win when he participated in the Olympics? All of them. This is it. Correct. Correct. Hmm, it seems you've been studying after all. Nero won many awards in all kinds of competitions, all rigged in his favor, of course. Because of these kind of selfish actions, not to mention a Lichera's side, he became known as a despot. Whoa! He actually knew that? Maybe I could, I should ask if I could borrow his notes. Nice going. Wow, you must be really smart to be able to answer a question like that. That said, recently people began reevaluating Nero's reign. Regardless, though, he was lacking in sportsmanship. He should have taken a page out of Kamashita Kun's book. Ha ha ha! Don't give us that crap! Kamashita's the real despot! <sighs> I could use some fresh air. Take me somewhere outside. We have no confidants to hang out. So, what I'm gonna be doing... Ooh, what, act what actually do I want to do? I actually want to head to Shibuya. Let's go to Central Street real quick. Because I... Ah, yes. So when you're in Central Street, the Velvet... Come to think of it. Return here when you wish. It should be of your own accord. That's what he told me, but how do I do that? You can go to the Velvet Room in Central Street. So if you want to mess around with some personas uh, for your confidants, you can do it here. But what I'm actually here for, however, is to go shopping. I want to start with the rental shop. Hey, check out that ad. They have an annual membership campaign. Welcome! Would you like to apply for our annual membership? If you're a student, it's 40, it's 4,800 yen during our campaign. Rent all the old DVDs you want with no extension fee. You can only rent one at a time, though. We're pretty busy, so not having to worry about extension fees is awesome. If you have the money, maybe you should sign up. It's only 4,800 a year for students. What would you like to do? Yes, I want to sign this, me up for this because... Doing this will increase our social stats in different ways. Thank you so much. May I see your student ID? You live in Yonginjaya. Now just sign here. All set. Hey, hey. Your hands are shaking when you wrote Renamamiya. You were nervous, weren't you? 
Since you're a member now, you can borrow DVDs starting today. Alright then. Welcome. What can I do for you? So, we have Bubbly Hills 90210. A realistic teen drama. Watching their romances make you charming. We have Wraith. A movie story of a woman who can talk to ghosts. Gives you kindness. Guy... Guy... Guy McVert. Adventures of a man who is proficient in jury rigging tools out of anything. The X Folders. <laughs> Investigators chase after supernatural cases gives you guts. Uh, I love the titles to this movie, as many people do. A lot of Persona fan posts I see on Reddit are about these uh, movie titles. But I want to start with the X Folders because guts is honestly one of the hardest, re uh, hard, one of the most difficult yet vital social stats. So look, I want to get working on that as soon as possible because there's no real easy way to increase your guts, at least for now. Thank you very much. Please come back soon. I also want to rock around. Next door is a bookstore. I want to go in here, too. Welcome. The popular books are over here. We have Tidying the Heart. Uh, a bestseller on cleaning. The author's proficiency is worth studying. Buchiko's Story. A heartwarming tale of a dog and its master. It is filled with kindness. And The Art of Charm. Tips from a famous pickup artist. Learn the charm to hook up with someone. I'm actually going to buy all of these. Thank you very much. And we keep going through here. We had the Velvet Room, of course, and we have the Air Shop Soft Shop. I actually want to go to the Velvet Room real quick, just so I can fast travel to it. I was waiting. Our master awaits. Please come this way. <laughs> so you've come. How's it feel sleeping into the unusual from your usual life? Our master has arranged an access point to assist you in coming here directly from the real world. That door you just went through is it. Be thankful, Envy. This too shall aid in your rehabilitation. Make good use of it. So you can enter the Velvet Room anytime here. I actually don't have any personas I want to make. If you want to make some personas that are your confidant types, you can. No slacking off. You can now quick travel to the Velvet Room. But, there's one thing. But, that is it for now. So, now, I'm actually going back to Ayama Ichome. I want to go to the library. Excuse me? Oh, this is your first time in the library? Um. It's my job to explain the rules of the library to first time visitors, so. You can now borrow books from the library. Furthermore, if a desk is available, you can use it to read or study. More books will be added as the seasons pass. Stop by to see what they have. You're only allowed to borrow one book at a time. Once you finish, please be sure to return. Huh? That badge. Are you a second year? Oh, could you be that transfer student I keep hearing about? Yep. I knew it. Um, I don't mean to be rude, but maybe you shouldn't come here. See, you're scaring the other students too. Wow. Oh, no. I didn't mean that you can't use the library, but... You're not welcome anywhere you go. I guess there's nothing you can do about it. The other students are scared of you. I, I'm feeling more hostility than anything. You can check that study corner. It looks like you can raise your knowledge and guts here. Hi, pretty lady. Mr. Kamashita locked himself away with after that prank with those phantom thieves? And on top of that, we have midterms coming after the break. I wonder how the next semester is going to go. Oh. She must be really focused. She didn't notice me at all. Okay, she's weird. What would you like? You need something? I'd like to borrow a book. You can only borrow one book at a time. Be sure you return it once you finish reading it. These are all the books you can check out right now. The Great Thief, a novel based on Arsene. His clever tricks make you knowledgeable. Pirate Legend. The Tales of the Fearless Captain Kid. Read this would build guts. Zoro the Outlaw. The story about Zoro, the gentleman bandit. Read it to be a kind gentleman. 
the alluring dancer. Passionate story of Carmen, for those looking to be charmed. Speed re reading. Easy to learn speed reading techniques. Increases your reading speed. Nice. Well, let's start with the Great Thief. Yeah. This one, yes? Okay, be careful mm. with it. The Great Thief, huh? Sounds interesting. Mm. Alright. The study corner is here. Mm. Looks like you can study here. When you study in the library, time will pass, but you will improve your knowledge. Also, during bad weather, your focus will increase your knowledge and it will improve even more. At times, you may overhear students talking about you, causing you to lose focus. Your knowledge may not increase as much, but your guts will slightly grow instead. So it's a crapshoot. Your knowledge might improve if you study at one of the open tables. There are other people around, but your guts might improve because of it. What do you want to do? Study here? Let's do it! Wait, is that the guy? Is that guy really going to sit down and study? Maybe he's more of a serious student than he looks. Whoa, don't stare at him. If your eyes meet, that guy's gonna kill you. Now then. Don't worry about the noise around you. Just use your best to concentrate, okay? Oh. Good job, not getting discouraged by a bad reputation. The dauntless spirit it will take you far in life. We have increased our guts, not really our knowledge. There's no way anyone can focus on studying in this environment. Let's change on Kamishita's heart and redeem ourselves. You can come here if you want, if you want to increase either your knowledge or guts, like I do. But if you want to, but if you want to increase your knowledge somewhere else, however, there may be better ways to do it. Well, it's game late. You should probably call it quits for today. You heard, I, you heard anything about the stuff happening to Kamoshida? Nope. I see. Did something happen? I don't know. I'm just feeling kind of anxious. I keep thinking about how even with all you did, we might still end up getting expelled. My mom's totally going to suffer if that happens. Plus, if we couldn't even help On or Shizui. We have to believe. Sorry, I guess now's not really the time to gain all down into dumps. Anyways, I'm feeling a little better now that I talked to you about this. Thanks, man. Oh, and don't tell Ahn I was doubting us, okay? She won't She won't have anyone to rely on if we're getting all worried about this shit. Well, see ya. I don't mind you using the coffee maker. Just clean up when you're done. Alright. Well, we have increased our social stats and got to get to a little bit more about our caretaker Sojuro, to, uh, the clinic doctor Takemi, and Ryuji. I think this is where we could call it. So, next time on Persona 5 Royal, we're gonna still be increasing our co confidants and social ranks while we await the change of heart from Kamashita. This is One Stupid Gamer, signing out.